Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today we got a new event starting in a couple hours. At the moment, I'm posting this video. Uh, the event should be live today. It's called Going Incognito. And we already seen the rewards for the new event. We're gonna have three new weapons and a cosmetic hat. Now, here's what you need to know. For this week's event, the hidden treasure chest could contain data sticks that you exchange at Pedro for the rewards. Now where can you find hidden chests? You can find treasure chests in daily missions. Most of the time you'll have three chests in a mission but you'll have to look for them because it's not something you do every day. You have so many different missions that you might not find them. And on top of that you cannot farm chests in daily missions because once you open it you kind of have to finish the mission. If you exit and go back the chest will be empty. So. This is something you can do every day for the whole week, but you cannot farm it. So what are you going to do if you want to farm a lot of currency to buy everything? Now your best bet to farm currency is to go in the co-op dungeons. Brothers of Fire, Voltaic Fist, Blade Dancer, and Hive Mind, they all have three hidden chests. The fastest one is Brothers of Fire, and even if you usually don't go for them, usually when you speed farm Brothers of Fire, you will split. There's a hidden chest in both corridors and the last hidden chest is just before the boss fight. So usually you would not go everywhere just to collect the chest. But even if you do that, Brothers of Fire will be the fastest dungeon just to open the three chests. Uh, but the loot though in Brothers of Fire, you're looking for Mother's Promise Pistol. It's not the best dungeon to farm loot. So is it really worth your time? Well, if you just need quick currency and you want to do a lot of chests, Brothers of Fire is okay, but overall, uh, I would personally go for Voltaic Fist. It's the second uh, quickest one, and you don't have to go out of your way to get the chest. The third chest is just before the boss fight in the big uh, the chamber with the code. Uh, 4231 by the way but there's a chest at the end and you're gonna get it no matter what uh, another chest not so hard the first chest though you have to look for the key card but it's still the voltaic fist dungeon is the one we farm in the blue balls event and it's pretty efficient and you have good loot you get the boots and you get the shoulders and you get some weapons so if you're gonna farm all week uh might as well make it worth your time now the third option is the blade dancer and that one i would probably scratch it because you really have to go really out of your way to get the chest especially the one where you have to shoot the switches and the elevators it's just too much trouble and it's not worth it it's a big waste of time i know some guys can clear the blade dancer very fast now because of a glitch we go through the the, the walls but uh i still don't think it's worth your time the loot is great though but going for the chest forget about it the last option is hive mind it was not in the game when we had the blue balls event pretty sure it was removed at that time and it came back later so hive mind is a great option if you can do it fast because i know good players do hive mind in about 10 minutes but if you have to die all day and do hive mind in 30 minutes it's probably not worth it like if you have a good squad and you can run it fast the cool thing about hive mind is usually you go for the chest anyways because they're on your way to uh, solving the dungeon so you don't have to go and waste extra time just to get the chest now one thing we'll have to figure out at uh, the moment the event release is do you get more currency uh, in harder dungeons because hive mine is the toughest dungeon uh, that will give you hidden treasure chest is it gonna give you more tokens we'll have to find out in a couple hours but if it does and if you're good with a good squad I think hive mind will be the way to go and it drops legendary legs at the same time so let me know in the comments what will you do what is your best way to farm treasure chest are you gonna go for brothers because it's faster but the loot is not so good or are you gonna go for hive mind and see if you can get more loot I will leave you guys with some gameplay of the Voltaic Fist Dungeon at the time we were farming chests for the Blue Balls event. You guys will have a pretty good idea how we did it and it's not that bad, it's pretty fast still. So enjoy the gameplay, I will see you guys later, take care. If I have Chinese, it has to be at night. So I, and then when I'm full, I go home, I don't go to work. I just go on my couch and watch TV and do nothing. I cannot go back to work after Chinese food, bro. I don't know how you do that. Like, what did you have? Like, the full the full set? Uh, wonton soup? Rice? 
egg rolls, spare ribs, and all the the sweet sauce. <laughs> oh yeah, Chinese all you can eat. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I love it though. I love Chinese food, but I don't have that often. Last couple times been disappointing, so I haven't done it. I haven't gone there in a while now. Like last time I went to to uh, all you can eat, it was not great. It was cold a little bit. Uh, it was not that good. And then it's it's not cheap, so. So yeah, you and then you remember, so you don't. When you want to go out, you you kind of remember the last time, so you don't want to go back. A glass of amaro is that not uh, like alcohol, like a liquor? So it help it help di with the digestion or something. I never have alcohol after eating. I don't know why. Uh, the fame boost. I don't know, bro. JW Music, what's up, bro? Uh, the fame boost. I think it's double fame. If you've been away for a while, you you get double fame boost for a little while until you get back your fame that you lost. I think. But the, the fame boost for um, helping a new player, I think it's just 50%, but can't remember. So, so who's got the key card? I don't think I got it. I don't think it was on D, maybe I missed it. If it was on C, I just didn't open it. Or I didn't grab it. Any news on the prices? Yo, Skywalker, we will we will know when it refresh. There's no way to know until seven. Got nothing, but I got two greens. That's weird. Like, I never had double items in these chests before this update. Yo, there's the boost for helping new players, but there's another boost when you've been away for a while and you lost a lot of fame. When you come back, you get a fame boost, and. You're gonna be boosted until you claim or until you get back your fame that you lost, I think. get that many but I don't eat uh, like spicy that much I like Mexican stuff when I go uh, three amigos uh, chicken enchiladas um, soft uh, tortilla like chicken tacos chicken burritos but it's not like it's not spicy it's just the salsa a little bit you know uh three amigos yeah i don't know if it's racist like it's not a movie the title of a movie like what what's what's the name come from anyways it's been like 30 years 
I don't know why it's racist. It's just a, it's just a Spanish name for a restaurant. Like if I if I open a French restaurant and I call it Les Trois Amis, like the three friends, is it racist because it's French? Like where where does it come from? Yo, Kush just got a chaser. <laughs> 